from the east, house of light, may wisdom dawn in us so we may see all things in clarity. From the north, house of night, may wisdom ripen in us so we may know all from within. From the west, house of transformation, may wisdom be transformed into right action so we may do what must be done. From the south, house of the eternal sun, may right action reap the harvest so we may enjoy the fruits of planetary being. From above, house of heaven, where star people and ancestors gather, may their blessings come to us now. From below, house of earth, may the heartbeat of her crystal core bless us with harmonies to end all war. From the center, galactic source, which is everywhere at once, may everything be known as the light of mutual love. Ah yum hunapku, eva maya e maho. Ah yum hunapku, eva maya e maho. Ah yum hunapku, eva maya e maho. dimension. Here is the founder of the Whole Earth Festival, Jose Arguez. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time we had a good collective deja vu here. It's about time this deja vu. It says in the revered Book of Changes, E. Jane, hexagram 49, revolution. I've been repeating this and I'll say it again. Fire in the lake, the image of revolution. Thus, the superior person sets the calendar in order and makes the seasons clear. That is revolution. And that is what we are here for, and that's what this time is all about. The revolution at last. The one that we expected to happen 
in the 60s, but it ended up looking down the barrel of a gun, and we didn't know how to put our finger on what went wrong. Well, we put our finger on what went wrong, and we wouldn't let go, even though it almost killed us to find out. It says in Revolution, hexagram 49, of the revered I Ching, the Book of Changes, in line 3, it says, when talk of revolution has gone the round three times, then the word will be believed. This is the third time I've spoken these words at this three whole earth festival. That means that revolution is on. And everybody here who is hearing these words right now, you better believe you heard it right. We're talking revolution. That means the end of the old order. That means changing the calendar, which is the foundation of the old order, pulling it out, removing it, dropping it in the waste can of history with a polite saging and ceremonial bonfire. We <laughs> keep it pure and sacred and do that with everybody you know this July 25th, the day out of time, the day when the old time ends, the night before the beginning of the new time. You can bet you're hearing what you're hearing, and this has been very well prepared for. We're not just talking history, we're not just talking a game of intellectual chess. This isn't a conceptual masturbation. This is real. This is about time. This has been very well prepared for because we are all DNA flotsam and jetsam in the biospheric stream of life. And we're very, very lucky that we're all being able to stand up here and grin. Yeah. We're very lucky that we have this opportunity that we can still laugh because it's pretty bad what's going down. That's why I said this is revolution. We're not going to stand for it anymore. That's what they say in revolution. They say, you're crazy, you'll be shot, they shoot them all. Well, they can shoot. It doesn't matter to us because you can't kill the truth. And the truth is that we are living in Satan's time. We are living in the artificial time of the Gregorian calendar, about which no one ever gave you any democratic yes or no about, and the mechanical clock. These are two instruments that we have proven scientifically have are at the root of the disease that the biosphere calls the human species. And we don't think the human species deserves such a bad rap from the biosphere. We know a lot of good humans. But how come we are still the only species tearing up the biosphere? Why can't we break the spell? Why can't we go down and say, no more fires down here, Amazon? We know they're all going to run you over in a bulldozer. Well, we got the silent revolution. Change your calendar, change your time, change your mind. Take a permanent trip out of the old time and into the fourth dimension. We've proven it's here and it's real and it can be done. Everybody has the opportunity. Listen. It, <clears throat> It was not easy getting here. It was very hard time getting here. And for a long time, we were climbing up 90 degrees up the face of a cliff that no one knew existed. And there was the cliff called Dogma About Time. And we got to the top of that cliff climbing 90 degrees, and we looked around, and what did we see? It said, it almost looks like the promised land. It almost looks like, wow, it's Davis. It's the whole Earth Festival. We're almost there. The fact that this is still happening 28 years later, and there's as many, many hippies here as ever, is a great sign. Yeah. But I want to also say,
say Pippi is just the beginning. We're talking about the second creation and the new man. So what you've got going for you is you're not buying the style and the attitude of the old order. Well, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to clean up this planet. We've got to clean up the planet by winter solstice 2012 when the inspection committee comes around and says, did they really do it? Did they pass the test? Huh? Were they able to get the intelligence test that we gave them when we sent those crazy people back there in the late 1990s, tell them to change their calendar, change their time, and they will change their mind? Did they pass the test? That's what they want to know. Winter solstice 2012, the end of the famous Mayan calendar, which is just the end of the cycle of history, which is just the end of the time of the trial and testing of the human soul. Because when you go, all you got left is your soul. And that's all that tells the truth and tells on you and what and who you are and whether you can hear this message and hear it straight or not. That we are here to deliver this message that says we got to get real now because there isn't too many years before 2012. The millennium was just the final test to see how hard you were going to hold on to money or whether you were going to let go of it at all. But when we pass that, we'll be past the money test. There'll be too many other things to take care of and we have to take care of this planet. We have to keep it cleaner than it was when our galactic genetically entrained ancestors dropped into this little void bubble called planet Earth. It's not a spaceship. It's a time ship. We got to wake up now to that fact that we've been swindled traveling in space thinking that it's all about space. It's about time, didn't we say? It's about time we got back here and it's about time you heard this message because you didn't really hear this message like this before. The law of time, the discovery of the law of time you haven't heard about. Your media won't report about it. And we could never have gotten a government grant to find it out either. But we discovered it, the law of time. And the law of time, and you know what it is, it starts with making the simple calendar change. This is an evolutionary test. This is, you have from July 26th, remember July 25th is the data time, you got those calendars, have your bonfire, have a sacred spiritual ceremony. And forgive everybody, absolutely everybody no exceptions and don't use money that day and if you can afford to begin the worldwide work stoppage on that day it should be the day the earth stood still yeah. but not because some ufo told us to sit still but because we finally had the moral heroic courage to step to stop it ourselves yeah. to stop the old time ourselves to get the earth to stand still by ourselves. The next, that's going to be a Saturday, July 25th. July 26th will be day one on the magnetic moon of the red rhythmic moon year, which is the sixth year of prophecy. You don't know about that. Don't worry about it right now. These are the times of prophecy. I don't have to talk like an evangelist to convince you of that. These are the times of prophecy. This is the day of judgment. And the sixth year of prophecy begins on Gregorian calendar, July 26th. That Gregorian is the devil's calendar. That's the Satan's time that that keeps because it is Babylon planet. And it's the Tower of Babel that you're watching fall right now. We're just trying to get out of the way. <laughs> that July 26th is also the 104th birthday anniversary of Aldous Huxley. I don't know how many people remember all this actually anymore. Yes. Mr. George of Perception himself. And he will be very happy smiling from his from his highly etheric pleasure dome on the sunny side of the planet Uranus. Aldous Huxley will be very happy from that vantage point <laughs> to see a lot of us on this planet getting with the program and seeing that if we are going to keep our planet from exploding and dying and doing all the bad stuff that we're causing as a species, that we have actually taken the step to return to the natural cycles of time, the natural cycles of Earth. The time is a frequency, it's a ratio, it's 1320 is the frequency 
the false vestas frequency of all of nature, the whole of the galaxy, is accorded to that. All the famous Mayan calendars were based on the 1320 frequency, which is at the root of the law of time. The law of time says energy factored by time equals art, because time is not money, time is art. Yes! The same as time is the false frequency of 1260, 12 month Gregorian calendar which is not a standard of measure. A, day, a calendar it affects your mind. A crooked calendar creates, creates a crooked mind, creates a crooked society, creates a crooked civilization, etc. 12, 60, 60 minute hour corresponds to nothing except for to the machine that drives us on and on into our insanity. So that's why we are saying time to shift gears go back to the natural frequency of time is the first step we have to take if we want the angels to continue to love our planet. The angels have been very good so far. They haven't let those nasty atomic bombs go off and, and, the, and they, the worst crimes they're allowed to be inflicted on us so far are bad movies. <laughs> but this could become a very bad movie if we don't pass the intelligence test and realize yes, this is the moment for revolution, the revolution of time. It could, every revolution has a precise beginning, and we are not afraid of announcing the beginning of this revolution in time. It begins July 26 on the Gregorian calendar, the day, Red Rhythmic Moon, the Red Rhythmic Moon year. And for 52 weeks, you have a 52-week phased silence, silent revolution around the world of everybody who's getting off the old time and getting on the new time. For 52 weeks, you have a synchronization between that old calendar and the 13 moon calendar. When those 52 weeks are up, that's it. Goodbye old calendar forever, goodbye old time forever. You'll avoid the millennium, it won't happen. It was a function of the old calendar, and you can see how the fat joker was. Okay? This is a mind trick. Evolution is spiritual and mental. We are here to advance our intelligence, to raise our mental horizons, to expand our spirituality, to become universally spiritual. The universal religion on earth is very simple, it's clear, and it's here. The universal religion is simply the index of spiritual unification achieved on the world systems, and we're here to manifest that spiritual unification. We're all going to become spiritually unified by living in the same time, in a new time, in a correct calendar that totally avoids the millennium. We have 52 weeks, we have a pro, we have educational programs, sit on, give me that bag. <laughs> So just to repeat the words, World 13 Moon Calendar Change Peace Movement. This movement is actually happening. There are groups of people around the planet going on the new time. You really genuinely have not heard about it in the United States of America because we are blacked out by the press here. It's serious that, you know, you really do not get the truth on any of your current media systems. And you all know that. You know, I don't have to preach to the already knowing. You're here. And at this moment, we do have tools that tell you about this calendar change. It's real simple. The Gregorian calendar has all those uneven months. You go home tonight, look at your Gregorian calendar, you count all the extra days after the 28th day of each month, and you get 29 days. And that is that 13th month. You've got an extra 29 days. You've got 28 days of that 13th month that were chopped up and thrown into the 12-month calendar and you better believe it, women, that's why we have felt at war within our own body system because we literally have not had the right standard of measure for our biological timing. So this is the moment for all of us to get back on the natural timing frequency and everything is planned out in the way that when we organize ourselves in the right time, harmony will be ours. We will be harmonic. We won't all be agitated by living in the wrong calendar. So this is an incredible moment of atonement because we have to forgive all of ourselves on the planet because we didn't know, all of us, we were living in the wrong time. So when we get on the new time, we will have a return to our natural biological cycle. All men and women will be harmonized when we get it back in the right time. So for this next year, 
Jose Arguez, you have here a wave spell form for the next year, the 13 months that flow in the form of 13 perfect months, 28 days each month. And the conversion program is very harmonious because every day of the week on the two calendars is the same. Yeah, every day of the week is the same, and we're talking about harmony, true harmony, true equality, true democracy, which is the democracy of tele telepathy. We will have the democracy of telepathy restored to us once we are no longer ri living in the jangling 1260 timing frequency. This can only happen by a critical mass getting on the new time. We have prepared the ground for five years. We've traveled around the planet as galactic anthropologists, galactic gypsies, and planetary peace pilgrims promoting the new time of universal peace. What we're looking at is in one year from the beginning of the red rhythmic moon year, in one year, in one year that we will be, we will have completely phased ourselves out of the old time and that means all of the all of the institutions all of the ways of doing things in the old in the old time we have a, it's a 52 week program so when we get back when we get to the middle of the of the year 1999 we will not be on that calendar and when we get to the to the middle of that year we will all be home again the whole point of this is to send everybody home. Your jobs are no longer safe. Go home. They're destroying the planet. Your jobs are no longer safe. Go home. They're destroying the planet. Your jobs are no longer safe. Go home. They're destroying the planet. Okay. So, what we have here a uh, few gifts. We've always proceeded by uh, the by giving away what we have. We travel. We've traveled around, not asking for anything for what we say or what we do, because you cannot barter the truth. We're very much with Christ when He went and kicked the money lenders out of the temple. Well, the temple is your earthly biosphere, and the money lenders are the bankers. And who's going to kick them out? We're going to kick them out by going on to the new time and the new calendar and letting them know it's all over. We're not playing that game anymore. So as we are closing up this part, um, we'll just have some 13 moon calendar booklets and calendars being passed out. And the point of any revolution is making it known. When you understand what it is, what the message is to make it known to others, and you move through. Now these are all gifts. And they'll be passed around as you continue to sit. Stay where you are, Stay where you are please. Don't come up here. We're going to try and do this in a very civilized manner. We found out one of the aspects of time is money is that every time we had big gift events, suddenly everybody so greedily would come rushing up on us and then scream at us if we didn't have enough things to give out. So remember, you know, we're not used to receiving gifts. And we're also not used to giving. So what we're calling for at this moment, the reason we said this is a potlatch, now the potlatch form was known to the Northwest uh, American Indian people there who knew that they would, they would have potlatches to show who could give the most, who could give more than the next person. Because as you know, when you give, it's just like the potluck. We almost made it, your potluck dinners, remember? You never have any want when you have a potluck supper. Everybody brings more than, that's, than is needed. So we're in the process of saying we have to give first. And now we also are gonna give we, because we told you this is a world movement, we actually have people who have been organizing very hard and actively. We have members here from Houston, from San Francisco, from Portland, from Modesto, from Tahoe, from Tucson, who have all been actively worked, working to bring the new calendar out to people. And we have Dream Spell gifts here. And we also have a gentleman from Japan, so please come forward, Chopin to receive your Dream Spell kits because we're sending these as a gift to folks who have already shown that they know how to give of themselves in the process of communicating on calendar. <laughs> this Dream Spell kit is a tool of how to learn what the fourth dimension is. And guess what? It has primary colors. And has every week in time? We're getting close. We're getting close. So that's about it. Okay. So we'll wrap it up now and uh, bring, in, bring Wavy Gravy on and just close the morning. Okay. Thank you very much. You got the message. You got the which one. You want to come up here? You want to stay down there? Okay, I'm going to hand this over to Wavy Gravy, whom we all love.
and uh, he's going to take it away. And I just want to say thank you all. And like I said this morning, um, next year the whole Earth Festival is going to be everywhere, and it's going to be 365 days a year once we're on the new calendar. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Jose. Eternity now. Eternity now. Touch the earth. And this is how I came in. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the soil of Turtle Island. Turtle Island. One ecosystem. One ecosystem. Under the sun. Under the sun. With joyful. With joyful. Interpenetration. Interpenetration. For all. For all. Let's hear it for joyful interpenetration. We want to make a big circle? Let's make a big circle, yeah. huh? <laughs> I'd like to thank Gary Snyder for that.